rookie seasons? And do you expect either of them to hit a rookie wall, especially considering that you guys are going to take a yeah. break now for All-Star? Will that benefit them? Will that hurt them? I mean, I think it benefits them. Like, they have a, they're All-Stars, which is amazing. Yeah. They're going to have some time to rest mentally, physically. Um, I don't. I think they hit their rookie wall like already. Like it's over. Okay. I think both teams are still like in the process of adjusting to them. But like you're seeing those two teams building their future around their rookies, and that's something that I haven't seen in a while, which I think is amazing for them. Kaylin almost had another triple double tonight. I think she was very close or today. Um, it's been good to see. I mean, it's been it's been good to see them be able to work out their rookie season and get through it while getting, like, game experience. Because I know our team, like, our schedule, like, we barely practice. So you don't really have time to work on things and figure things out as a rookie. So them being able to figure it out in-game, real-time, and yeah. being successful um, is good for them. And I do want to give a shout-out to our rookie, Rakia Jackson. Shout-out to Rakia Jackson. Oh, like, if we, were, if we were winning some more games, I think she would be in this Rookie of the Year race for sure. She's been, she's been doing her really, thing. Yeah, she's been really fighting her way, and I'm, like, really happy and proud of her. So you talk about Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin had 29 points, 13 assists, 5 rebounds in a loss <laughs> to the Washington Mystics. They also were down 21 in the fourth quarter. That's lost by 5. Yeah, lost by 5, so. so can we look at these two rookies? Um, all the hype that was coming in before, they're both living up to it. Um, it's, it's the, it's, I guess it's the media and the fan base trying to put them two against each other, like this is still college, right? Um, where what they're both doing is making history, right? It's, it's not... Whose history is better? Is they're both making history. They're At both. The same time. They're both doing something different, right? One's a guard, one's a big, right? That uh, 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 Reese double double does not change. Yeah. Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark triple double doesn't change. There's um, um, Reese is. She might get a triple double one day, one maybe, but she's a, she's gonna be a double double queen. How she plays, Shit. that's going to be... She already is. She, you know what I'm saying? Is. But what double I'm double saying is, queen. she's going to... The way she's... Her trajectory, she might break the all-time double-double record. Right? Because rebounding is what she's good... That's her gift. Her offense is... This is the bottom end of her offense. What's right? This is the, this is the worst she's going to be offensively. She's only going to get better. So... Those numbers is going to be, she's going to be averaging 22 and 12 or 14 one of these years. She's going to be a dominant force. Caitlin Clark is going to be on the verge of playing like Luca. Two, three years from now, she's going to be averaging 22, 8 and 7, 9 and 7, right? So these, if you, if you separate and just watch them individually and stop, pe oh, you talk about Caitlin Clark, people go, yeah. what about Reese? You talk about Reese, what about Caitlin? I appreciate Kayla? both of their yeah. games separately. Just, just look at them yeah. separately. Yeah. They're both doing great, and who wins the who wins the, the this is the problem with the rookie of the year. Whoever wins it, the other one got cheated. The other one's gonna feel like they got cheated because they're both history is being done. That's why I said it's easier for both <laughs> for both to win. It's, it's I don't easy. know. Kaylin gets a few more triple doubles. It's still one, even though she gets a few more triple doubles, you yeah, got one who a holds a record of double double. It's like it's just one of those seasons that you're like, nah. you know what? Nah. nah. You know, we're not doing this. What are we not doing? We're sure? not doing this. Doing what? what? Someone gotta win. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We're not doing this. You know why? Because that shit was fucking beautiful. And I was over here like, do I sway with y'all niggas or no? Nah? <laughs> Because that shit does, like, it, it's the... What it makes they're doing sense. is, like, incredible. It is. And what I'm proud of, I'm proud of Chicago and I'm proud of Indiana because I've been around this league and there are some hating-ass coaches, there's some hating-ass players in this mm -hmm. league that would have, like, stomped that shit out so fast. And they're on two teams that absolutely did not allow that to happen. And I like I'm gonna credit Chicago and Indiana for that because I've seen that shit happen in real time on other teams mm -hmm. with other players where they see something amazing brewing with their rookie or young players and they're like, fuck her, 
Absolutely do, not. Do you, do you think that because of the media was so strong? They had to. They had to conform yeah, fast? Because we seen we seen fever at the beginning of the season. Yep. And the shit and they let us just, they the looking line. like, no, I mean, you're going to sit on the floor. Mm -hmm. And all that media is sitting there like, well, she yeah. needs some new teammates. They said, like, girl, let's tick tock. That's all that. Uh, that, hey, that, 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 that girl, we, we with you. We with you. Said, we with you. Y'all better get right or y'all getting left. Getting left. Like, let me tell you. On both her, sides. Said, her passing ability was going to show, show up before her scoring came. So y'all are going to benefit more from knocking down these open shots and being able to play with her on the floor because she's going to get you the ball. Mm -hmm. We're not doing this. <laughs> you know why? Somebody got to win. Somebody right? got to so win. So if we in entertainment, right, and we going this person versus this person, this team versus this team, we love both teams, we bias. We, just, oh, we don't know who going to win. We don't know who we want to win. But guess what? You can't tie. You can't fucking tie. They do it all the time. No. When was the last, what no. was the last co rookie of the years in NBA? Was it J. Kidd and Grant Gr 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 and Jason Kidd? Think about, think about they were how they playing so well that it was like, ah. Think about the competitiveness, the landscape of what size you got to pick now. You think about how we've always tried to unify all of this but stuff. But, like, right? why do we got to, like, if one wins, which that is very possible that one of them does win, it's going to be a shit storm. No, like, it's not. Yeah. It's going to be yes, beautiful because everyone's now watching. We wasn't watching before because it wasn't the reason to pick. But this is, like, the perfect setup for the nah. co-rookie of the year nah. they are so nah. different. Nah, yeah. Nah, we don't want peace and love and yes, we do. Do. none of that. Because what happened to Steve Francis Elton Brand after that? We want respect yeah, see, growth. That could be the Steve Francis Elton Brand. You got, that's what I said. It's, it, because it's not two guards, it's th right, this it's is not, not guard two guards. This is a guard and a center. So how do we? Ju how do we have you to do justify? it every year now? How, what criteria? We have to do it every year now. Because I'm, no, I'm pretty sure what I'm saying is teamwork. If the voters are this, like let's put the voters as all right. Shaq is a voter. Duncan's a voter. Embiid's a voter. <laughs> right. They go Curry's a the voter. Players. And Kyrie's a voter. The, What's Andrew, this gonna go? Andrew Reese. Andrew Reese wins, right? Because the all three black. bigs, the all three of them bigs value. Black on that oh, yeah, the, the all three, of them black. They gonna pick Andrew. The three bigs value the double double. Now the guards value what she's doing. So the guards see Caitlin Clark. The big see how hard with injury. So it's two different slides, but they're both playing but great. We all are players. Even even you saying guards are this, bigs are this, but we all know wholeheartedly. Who deserves to be the rookie of the year based on record, based on what you do for your team, points, and all the stats that's around it? I look at Angel Reese and I say, she's doing exactly what she's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, because you're, you're she underrated. Broke, she you're broke. underrated as a rebounder. You're proven that you should be respected not only as a rebounder but as a force. Period. Mm -hmm. A presence. Wait, who underrated her as a rebounder? No, no that was I, her I game. did. Oh. I oh. I underrated oh, her as a yeah, rebound. Yeah, absolutely. You didn't, I didn't, oh, you didn't know, I didn't know if she could do it in the, oh, in the I W. Oh, absolutely. I'm not surprised. So I wanted to see it. So now that I see it, and it's like, okay, she deserves everything that she's getting for as far as recognition. But then Caitlin, expectations for her were already here. The team that she's spoon feeding and keep dropping the motherfucking eggshells all over the place. Imagine if she's picking up six more assists, she's getting three more rebounds, and she's putting the ball in the basket more because they're not really just trying to deny her every. Like I look at the potential of what happens when you make it even. You He's make it even. Well, that's what I said. Caitlin goes here. If they, if they, if they team, switch teams. No, if when Caitlin doesn't get the, all the. Pressure defensively. That's what you're asking, yeah. right? Because she's making. The, she has the to overcome. She has to overcome more than Angel does. So she, no, Kaylin, Kaylin today, 29 points, 13 assists, no. five rebounds, five steals, Man. three blocks. No, like she said, she's turning but the that's corner what I'm on saying. that wall. No, 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 no. no. Realize that. But what like, I'm saying is they're they're both turning. One has the ball the whole time. For sure. Make, the other one has to get the ball and make her own play. Yes. Right? right? And that's not her attribute. Her attribute is not scoring. Right. Right. But the fact that she's still averaging the like she's still getting points. Nobody had her.